What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how you can add a basic countdown timer to your product page. This will help increase scarcity for products which are on sale, which you're trying to get rid of, helping the consumer buy sooner than they would and helping the consumer make that purchase decision. Before we start the video, I wanted to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy-to-read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. The app we're going to use today is called Ultimate Sales Boost. This app has quite a few options in terms of customization for scarcity to help boost those sales. Right now, I'm just going to show you how you can set up a basic countdown timer. So right now I have the app installed under my apps on Shopify. So if I go to my apps here and I click on Ultimate Sales Boost, it's going to open up a menu. So the way Ultimate Sales Boost works is it works off campaigns. So you can have different campaigns set to different countries, different products, or different collections and how you want it to display. Right now I've set up a basic campaign. I'm going to set it to apply to all products in all countries because I want my store to possibly be a flash sale or something similar. So when customers come from somewhere like Facebook ads, they see the product and they're like, oh, the sale's only going to last under 24 hours. I want them to purchase quickly. I should get this deal now. So if you go here, there's quite a few things like buy one, get one free. There's a lot more things on the paid plan as well. But what I'm going to focus on here is the countdown timer. And this is available on their free plan. So I'm just going to click on it here. And you get a message to add to your countdown timer. So I just put limited time sale. There's also an ability to customize how long you want the timer to last. Maybe I want to do... 358 seconds, so around the five hour range. You get also an option to customize when you want to show it, so maybe you want to have it reset after it ends, or you want it to disappear completely. I'm going to refer hide the countdown because I don't want the same customer seeing, oh, the timer reset, there was actually no sale. I want there to actually be a limited timer here. And you get ability to customize the background customers as well. I'm going to go with something red. I'm not a big fan of that orange. I'm going to keep it in the same color, so I have a solid background here. And the text is white. I like how that stands out. It's nice and big. I'm going to make this a little larger. I'm good with that. It, it looks clear and it's easy to see. So I'm going to click save at the bottom here. Now as I was mentioning before, there are some options if I just go back here. So they're all set in campaigns and so this campaign is set to apply to all products, to all countries, all customers. Maybe if you want to upgrade to a, the paid plan, you can set a certain product. So maybe you have a product and you actually do have a flash sale lasting 24 hours. You want to put that there. You can target that easily here. So that's my timer here, and if I go to my Shopify store, I've already loaded the product I have it on. I'm just going to reload this page here, and my timer should load at the bottom. And there it is. Limited time sale. It says six hours left, and it's going to add that scarcity to your products. Overall, this is a decent app to customize a countdown timer, and you get one on your product page. It's quite easy to implement. The best part about it is it is free. Maybe you want to try it on a few products first to see if it actually changes your conversion rate. And if it does, maybe you want to get a more customizable timer, something that matches your theme a little more. But overall, this is a great starting option on how to add a countdown timer to your product page to increase scarcity. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button below and like the video. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can.